Alright, so, hey guys, uh, I know it's been a while since I've recorded, about a little over a week, I guess, but nonetheless, I'm back, or however long it's been, but let's cut to the chase. Top 10 things to do, well, to do and not to do on the f night before school. One, here's a, one, number 10 on the not to do list. Do not stay up till fucking 5 in the morning and then wake up, trying to wake up at 12. Because by then, school has already been started and, and all that. <laughs> Strange coming for me because I'm usually used to recording around 4 in the morning. I'm trying to get my recording done earlier today, so. Number 9 on the not to do list is. Do not go back to school shopping the day before school, okay? And do not, this goes along with the last one, do not, do not pack the second before you go to school. You gotta pack everything, buy everything in advance, right? Also, number 10, first number to start, like, get some new shoes, get some new shirts, new, new outfits, you know? Freshen up your style a little bit. And Jesus Christ deodorant clone. Basic shit, right? Basic hygiene. Because then never, as soon as you step in the damn room, they're going to be like, what's that? Oh, God damn it. Get out of Just get out of the room. You already failed. Also, make sure you're prepared. This is number nine on the to-do list. Make sure you're prepared. Because if you're not prepared, well, let's just say, teachers don't take kindly to that, especially in high school. They get mad because they don't like lending out shit. You know, like, the most common thing in my old school that people would forget is the most basic shit, like pencil, paper. Okay, maybe I forgot a few things one time, but that was only once. The, I'm talking about do not be that kid or... Whoever you are that forgets your shit on a consistent daily basis. Then people are going to be start getting annoyed then. Start getting annoyed when you ask, can I borrow this, can I borrow that? It's fine if you forget your stuff once or twice. But please do not ask consistently and every, on a daily. Don't purposely forget your shit so you can make up some bullshit excuse. That you forgot everything at home. When, you, when you're just too lazy to get, your, get out of your damn bag. Alright, so number eight and the not to do list is obviously if you avoid homework, you're, avo you're, you're gonna fail. Unless you're in Finland where homework doesn't exist, where, well, congratulations to you because we here in. We here in America are still stuck with that shit. <laughs> Anyways, also, number, I think we're on number eight on the to-do list. This goes along with number nine and all that. That, make sure, god damn it. Wait, no, we're on number seven. Make sure you fucking, also, make sure you're prepared. Make sure you have a proper time schedule. Don't avoid homework, you know, basic shit, right? But do not show up to class late. And please, for take whatever time or opportunity you can to study, because them, te them tests are getting harder, especially around the high school years. Trust me, I failed my number of tests. All because I didn't study. Please, just don't be that one kid that's like, shit, I gotta study at the last minute. You know, you walk into class and you're like, you sit down, and you're that guy. Sorry if my camera got dark a little bit. It's because my freaking phone said dark out on me. There we go. Alright, so now, here's another basic thing. Do not... Just can't, don't walk at a turtle's pace in the hallway. Because not only are you holding yourself up, especially if you're on the stairs, 
You're holding a bunch of other people up. So you, they're always. This is kind of relatable because one time I had in my old school, there was these fucking group of jackasses who would walk as slow as they can up the stairs and all that shit. Also, do not start fights near the stairway or don't start fights at all. I know that sounds kind of anti student, I should say, but still, if you're fighting over something stupid, just don't fight at all. Because not only could you get suspended, in some cases you could get expelled or many, many weeks of ISS. Or just completely, some people do get away with it, but they don't, it doesn't last too long. They, people end up finding out about it, and then somebody tells a dean, and then everything goes shitting downwards. Anyway, so that's enough of my personal recommendations. I know I didn't get to the top ten all the way to number one, but... I point out most of the things you should and should not do. Also, a bonus for the should not do section. Do not fucking... So, if you're one of those people like me that like to stay up late during the summer, and first high school, you're already up till fucking 6 in the morning, and you had to catch a bus at 7, then you fall asleep, and then you miss the bus, and then you're like three hours late to school. Not only is that inconvenient for you, but you can really lose a lot of credit. Could get zero for the day due to an absence. Too many absences, man. You feel oh, it's an automatic left back. And trust me, nobody wants that. God damn it. What shit under the thing? Anyways, yeah. Just, that was a little list of recommendations. I... Just a little list I would I comprise of the should and should not on the night on the day or night before school and also please don't do your back to school shopping on the day and then do your packing in the morning because not only is that last minute shit but you might end up missing the bus so please do everything in advance and you decide to take the advice. Uh, good for you, and enough of this section, on to the vlog. Anyways, so, yeah, over here it is the night before school, which kind of sucks. Because what I'm used to is my summer sleep schedule, and then I have to switch shit over to a fucking school sleep schedule. It's like, my normal sleep schedule in the summer is like stay up till 5 and wake up at 12, 31 o'clock. Sometimes even one thirty-two, right? And now I have to switch over to the go to bed by 11. And then wake up at 6. Or in some schools you have to wake up at 5. But in mine I have to wake up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. That's always been a tough thing for me. I was never a morning morning person. I mean, if you can't catch me in the morning, I'm like... If you catch me and annoy me in the morning, I don't take it. I legit don't really take kindly to that, and I just wouldn't take any shit, you know? But otherwise, you know, in the morning, nobody likes to be bothered, right? Like, so don't be that one guy that likes to annoy everybody in the morning. And don't be that guy who annoys everyone all fucking day. Saying, repeating yourself and being the most annoying unbearable person on the fucking earth. I had to deal with my share of people that were like that, who did not get the hint that nobody wanted to hang with them because they were mad fucking annoying. One case, one particular case, I, I don't, it's like, I don't even want to talk about it. It's just, it pisses me off just mentioning it. Mentioning it, names will not be mentioned. Anyways, uh, enough of that. Again, back to the vlog in, in question. And yes, my room is a complete disaster. I just got some new shoes over there. I Obviously, you can see a bunch of shit laying around the shelves and all that. 
My gaming equipment is behind all that other shit. And then I have some fucking... I have a lot of amiibos up there. I'm gonna show you those. Some of these are very hard to come by, like... This one... It's really hard to come by. Uh... Not this one, because you could get it with any Mario Maker or game, honestly. Uh, this one is a, a particularly rare one. This one, uh, again, can comes to the chibi robo game, so it's not really that rare, right? This one is as common as common could be. Let me get you a better view of the character. See, Link is probably the most common one. Charizard, not really. But otherwise, that's the end of this. And I have to <laughs> go to sleep, man. So, I'll see y'all next time.